What's up, Libra? This is Soul here. And Libra, we're going to look at some energies here for you starting next week. Um, June 5th, ending June 11th. I hope all is well, Libra. I hope you guys had a wonderful um, Memorial Day. And this week, I'm using the Spellcasters uh, Tarot to deliver your messages. No reversals. So without further ado here, let's get underway here to see what the uh, potential energy is coming up for my Libras in the week ahead. Energies for Libras, please. Well, one landed and turned over. We'll use that, uh, Libra. That's the King of Wands. So you're attracting something or someone towards you. Or your energy is uh, attracting. Yeah. Your energy is going out in terms of attraction. And then there's some sort of attraction coming in towards you. That's the King of Wands. Always focused on something or someone. Very passionate. Um, could be intense. Things heating up. It represents relationships, so it could, uh, you know, definitely be a relationship, a new relationship, or relationships that are already in existence, whether or not they're fire sign energies, you know, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, it doesn't matter. This card also represents sexual energy, sexual expression. So we got one card out for you, Libra, King of Wands. Could have something to do uh, as well with uh, some sort of creative expansion for you guys as well. You know, digging into some sort of creative energies. All right, so what's going to join this King of Wands for you, Libra? We're going to start off with the first card. We got the Eight of Pentacles. That's good. Okay. Some of you may be focused on your work this week. Some of you may be receiving pay raises. Uh, for others, it could be that you just feel imbalanced in all areas of your life, okay? Or one specific area of your life. Up next, oops, too soon. <laughs> so not reversals, all right? Seven of Wands is the uh, regret card. So whatever decisions or actions you take this week, you stick to the, your guns there. Four of Pentacles uh, could still be like the uh, Eight of Pentacles here. Small pay raise, you're saving up for something greater. Or you could be that Libra that is withholding some sort of love or, or affection towards someone or someone could be doing that to you. Wow, money is prominent here. So the Five of Pentacles is up next here. So this is usually worried or concerned about your uh, financial situation. That might be for some of you, but we'll get back to that Five of Pentacles. Then we have the Seven of Swords. This is your own energy. Somebody from your past is always trying to come back to create some sort of challenges for you. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So if there was any worries with the Five of Pentacles, there's the improvement right here. The Queen of Pentacles, this could be your boss. That could be significant promotions, pay raises, running a business. And then you have the Major Arcana, the strength on your side. So I don't think you need to have anything to worry about, Libra, this week. Okay, just like that King of Wands feeling passionate, feeling intense, uh, sexual energy, sexual expression. Anything that you uh, may be faced with or have to deal with this week, you'll have the st strength, number one, and definitely the power and the courage to overcome. Up next is the Ten of Swords, your energy again. So that's the completion of some sort of worries or concerns that you may have had. For others, it may uh, involve some sort of uh, surgical procedures, inpatient, outpatient. If it's not you, it could be somebody else. But there is an energy that is completing itself and a new cycle is opening up with the Ten of Swords. Followed by the Ten of Swords, now we have the Page of Swords. So this is uh, new conversations, first action. Someone could be newly interested in Libra younger energy or it could just represent your own and you're younger um so this person here um possibly is checking you out now this could be a friend this could be a co-worker this could be a neighbor someone is finding some sort of intrigue in you and they're checking you out they're not necessarily you know doing any spooky shit like you know spying on you or anything like that they could just well, you know what? Underneath the Five of Pentacles, even though the Five of Pentacles represents a loss, it could be, you know, somebody that you are um, working with and this person has an interest in you, but you don't know it yet. So if we get the Seven of Cups or the Death card, then this person may reveal their energies towards you. So uh, global network news, because this is an open general reading here, Libra, and that's what I always associate with the Page of Swords that might be coming, you know, towards you or, you know, information uh, on a global scale. 
And I did mention first actions and first moves. This still uh, is a card of communication, so it could be new conversations, um, you know, seeking some sort of clarity on a situation that is relatively new. Uh, it could be a working situation, could be a, you know, romantic situation, could be, you know, anything involving the family and so forth. Last card, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, now this uh energy here as opposed to the seven of swords that's over top of the six of cups is somebody from your past is thinking of you in a good emotional way okay childhood memories going down memory lane uh this could be a family member this could be a friend or somebody that you were linked with once romantically well don't be too surprised if they you know um reach out to you just like the seven of swords energy might reach out to you and that might be you know uh some libra's exes uh, who always created some sort of challenges while you were together. This could also be a family member or a friend. But the Seven of Swords here, as opposed to the Six of uh, Cups, they offer nothing new. They don't put nothing new on the plate or the table. They're just going to create more challenges. So be very, very careful if you happen to hear from someone that you haven't heard from in a while. And the reason why you haven't heard from them was, you know, whatever parting of the ways that encounter um that took place okay and your shadow is the will of fortune stroke of luck oh i like this energy stroke of luck um fate and destiny being somewhere you know possibly at the right time and something auspicious opens up for you it the wheel is the stroke of luck so anything that was like a missed opportunity could turn around in your favor this week and uh be in your favor wow the will of fortune the levers who are risk takers in terms of um you know gambling casino runs lottery plays or whatever just play responsibly because this is big money what follows this will of fortune is the family card the wedding card the ten of cups so we always talk about the ten of cups uh when it comes to emotional uh fulfillment satisfaction and contentment and we get all of that energy uh libra because of the connections that we have which is our family which is our romantic partners which is our friends so it's an even number of cups so uh you can expect the energy that you put out there is what you're going to receive back and some form of celebration going on as well the last card i have for you is the six of wands you can attach that victory and success to anything that you got going on any of the energies that are present here so uh, using that as an example, if you were the Libra that, you know, is worried about your financial situation, uh, even though the five is temporary, then, you know, there is some sort of uh, improvement. Maybe it's something that you do on your own. And then, you know, you attach the victory and success for having to overcome some sort of financial problems or, you know, worries or concerns. If you are traveling, you know, vacationing, you know, say passage two could be work related. Um, you're safe you know, to and from. I already talked about the Ten of Cups. I already talked about the Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Pentacles is that uh, balanced energy. You may be focused on your work. Maybe pay raises coming in here for you guys. Any decision making, because we do have the Ten of Swords, your own energy, and the Page of Swords. Anything that you want to do in terms of actions or decisions, Libra, you make sure that you stick to what you're going to do because if you change your mind to come to your own energies or allow the energies of the um you know the other ones which would be your uh extent or excuse me damn which would be your external forces your family members your friends significant others and whatnot trying to persuade you or change your mind and I like the fact that in this particular deck here that you notice that the wands, he's standing on top of them. So it's like a uh, he's defeated them. OK, so this is your conviction. This is what you're going to do. Normal uh, wands, the seven of wands and other decks, they're usually surrounded and he's like or the character is like in attack mode, you know, trying to protect themselves. But this I like this. So that means standing your ground. OK, and move forward in terms of what you're going to do. Four of Pentacles here is simply, you know, what I had mentioned before, a small pay raise, saving up for something greater, um, withholding love and affection towards someone or someone's doing that to you. The Five of Pentacles is my ghosting card. So either you're being ghosted by someone or someone's ghosting you, or there could be some sort of form of stubborn energy around you, uh, Libra, you know, and that could be, you know, co-workers, that could be family members, that could be romantic partners. Um, 
this is a temporary situation here. The best thing that comes out of the five of uh, pentacles is still you could be the Libra who donates your time and your money to worthy charitable causes. All right. So the seven of swords I already talked about exes, romantic partners, family members or friends that you have become estranged with. They may uh, come, in, you know, come forth this week trying to reach out to you. Uh, like I said before, they add nothing new to the table or the plate. So just use your best judgment. They're just going to create more challenges for you. Also, you could be the Libra who may have uh, laid something down, forgot about it, thought you lost it or whatever. This is the energy of that return. Queen of Pentacles is the boss in the workplace environment. It's the creditors. You know, it could be promotions to supervisor, managerial. Some of you may be running your own business. Look at that. It's underneath the um, Eight of Pentacles. So again, promotions um pay raises money being available uh if you need to tap into that energy uh when it comes to romance here you got the ten of cups here maybe somebody that you meet and this person uh is very business minded might be running their own business okay or it's just you know separate energy and it's just where people view you or see you as someone who they can depend on who they can rely on they see you as someone who is very steady and you know stable um definitely a good money handler and but you're a nurturer you're you know willing to provide help or assistance and all the persons have to do is just ask so we have the strength card here following the uh, queen of pentacles here and i talked about that being courageous feeling powerful any obstacles that you may be faced with this week you're going to overcome them sexual energy sexual expression the ten of swords is a completion of some sort of energy for you libra whatever that energy may have been for you is coming to an end new energy is about to open up i did mention you know, inpatient or outpatient surgical procedures could be going on either for you or somebody that you know. It's going to be painful, but hopefully they are medicated to accommodate the pain. That's temporary as well. Uh, we talked about the page of swords interest and that person may be, you know, someone new. Not necessarily new. You may already know them, but, you know, they're uh, interested in you in a different way. Uh, they may be thinking about you in a different way. Uh, so, yeah, that's the page of swords. Then the six of cups here going down memory lane. Someone from your past is thinking of you in a good emotional way. That could be a family member, could be a friend, could be, um, you know, someone that you were linked with romantically. Also, too, uh, it could be a week where you guys are um, possibly memorializing, you know, connections that you had. At one time and these connections are no longer with you but they're in spirit and uh the significance of this energy may um be in the dates i always mention the dates you know of their passing or possible birth june 5th through 11 may have some sort of significance to you we already talked about the king of wands all right so you know all kings and queens represents relationships for me so you got the energy here so it looks pretty good it looks pretty good for you guys this week, Libra. You got two major arcanas, very powerful ones to um, help you along the way. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Um, just, you know, have a safe, great week ahead. And it's just, you know, me interpreting the cards. Only take what resonates for you. Leave the rest alone. Keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon.